What's up guys, welcome back to the Gaming Careers YouTube channel where we aim to teach you everything that you need to know about live streaming and content creation within the gaming niche. Now, can we first of all just appreciate that I'm wearing my Streamlabs t-shirt for a video about Streamlabs' newest app store because it is winter here, it's cold. I was gonna wear the t-shirt for the whole video but I need to put a hoodie on. So what exactly is the Streamlabs app store? Well, similar to how Apple have an app store Google Play have an app store, Windows has an app store, Streamlabs have designed a way for developers to build applications directly into Streamlabs OBS for streamers like you to use. So what that means is you'll be able to get some great custom functionality, you know, applications like chatbots, uh, overlay customization, music licensing, custom widgets that pull stats for the game that you're playing, quizzes, polls. Really, whatever a developer could come up with, they can now build that application and integrate it directly into Streamlabs OBS. And that will really help streamers get unique um, aspects into their stream, things that other people aren't doing, as well as some really cool custom functionality uh, to help enhance the viewer experience. One of the biggest problems that streamers face nowadays is having to manage all the different applications and browser windows and things like that that they need to use to manage their stream whilst they are streaming. And Streamlabs OBS have always tried to bring all of that into one application. And this is just another step in that direction. They're letting developers build their apps directly into Streamlabs OBS so you never need to leave Streamlabs OBS as an application to be able to manage all the different aspects of your stream. Now it is worth mentioning that these apps do cost money. They are subscription based so you pay sort of between $3 and $5, $6 uh, per app depending on what they're priced at per month to be able to use them. And the idea behind that is that they are providing such great functionality or you know a feature or a set of features that it's worth the money i you know i have no incentive to encourage you to go and buy any of these apps but streamlabs obs are giving you 15 dollars free credit uh, if you start using the app store today so i have no idea how long that free credit is going to last for and if they're going to keep offering it you know indefinitely for the first first few apps that you want to purchase, but it's certainly in place today. I'd imagine it's still gonna be in place throughout the rest of the year because they want to encourage people to be checking out their app store. And a $15 free credit probably will get you uh, three or maybe even four apps from the app store for the first month. So Streamlabs have announced 16 apps that are coming out on launch that have been developed by various different developers. And as you can see, there are applications for widgets to do with certain games, uh, things that help you manage your live stream whilst it's live. There's some music licensing one. Uh, there's a few different overlay um, customization apps. There's also some uh, polling and uh, competitions that you can run for your live stream. There's really quite a wide range of different types of applications that have been developed for launch. And uh, I can imagine over the next sort of six months, this whole app store is just gonna grow and there's gonna be a really big variety of cool apps that you can uh, use on your live stream and enhance the experience for the viewer. Now, Nerd or Die, as many of you know, is a company that I have worked with um, in the past and I've always recommended their overlays. I really like a lot of the work that they're doing. They have developed an app called the Advanced Overlay Maker that I have been lucky enough to be able to test over the last couple of weeks and have a play around. And I honestly think it's one of the better apps in the App Store. It sort of allows you to customize their overlays, um, color schemes, what widgets you wanna show up, um, what social icons you want to use, what text you want to show. You can customize those kind of things from within this app. Uh, they've kindly agreed to sponsor this video, so we're gonna be taking a look through this app first, and then towards the end of the video, we're gonna be looking at a couple of other apps in the different categories. So before we dive in and install the app into Streamlabs, uh, the first thing we wanna do is obviously get our $15 free credit so that we, you know, we're testing out these apps without really risking any of our own money. And to do that, you need to come across to the new tab, which is called App Store, if you weren't already there, and then click up here into My Profile. Now here is where you'll be able to see all the apps that you are currently subscribed to. For me, that's none currently. And uh, if you come across to the Payments tab, you'll be able to add a payment method. Now to be able to get the $15 free credit, you need to add either your PayPal or a credit card into Streamlabs OBS. All that happens is a $1 authentication charge happens, which instantly gets refunded just to prove that you're using a real card, and then you will get given the $15 free credit. So now that we have added our PayPal information or our credit card information, we can come back to the App Store and select the app we want to install for us. So for us, that's gonna be the Advanced Overlay Maker. It takes you to a page where it gives you, you know, a video, a few screenshots, 
of the app that you're going to be installing as well as some details over here on the right hand side about what the app does exactly. So if we wish to subscribe, we come up to here in the subscribe button, you can see that this one costs $4.99 per month, but obviously we're going to be using some of our $15 free credit for that. So if we click on that, it will come up hopefully with this box saying you want to confirm install and as you can see here, we have the $15 credit, so this isn't actually going to cost us anything uh, and it tells you at the bottom here that $4.99 of our $15 bonus will be applied and it will renew at $4.99 per month when the bonus expires. So all you have to do is click subscribe. That will then start the installation of the app into Streamlabs OBS. Once the install has finished, it shouldn't take very long. These applications are pretty lightweight. You can see that we now have a new bar here underneath the App Store as well as uh, being taken to our profile where we can see all the apps that we've installed. But you can always just click on this to launch the app. So let's launch it for the first time. So here we are in Nerd or Die's Advanced Overlay Maker application. And as you can see down the left hand side, we have all the different types of assets that we can edit. So we have the webcam uh, overlays, we have supporter bars, uh, things like you know new subscriber, top cheerer, top tipper, um, social panels, we've got background videos that we can use. Uh, you can edit you know, some titles such as stream starting soon or you'll be right back, things like that. Generic text, stream info like your schedule, loads of different types of assets that you can edit. If we go back to the webcam one, you'll see that they have added three of their latest um, stream designs into this application, Retrowave, Apex and Uplink. Uh, the others are coming soon and I've spoken to the guys at Nerd or Die and they said that now that the framework is in place for them to be able to import their uh, stream packs into this application, they're going to be able to do it at a pretty rapid rate. So I'd expect to see Clearview, Glitch, Electro Junkie, all of these other overlay designs that I know you guys love uh, coming pretty soon into the Overlay Maker app and it will just stay at that same subscription price. So you're going to be able to have you know, a really great choice, especially when you get to customizing how these things look. Uh, I really think you're going to be able to find something that suits your stream. So let's take a look at actually editing one of these. So let's go to uh, Apex webcam widget and we'll we'll look at being able to edit the color scheme to match. Actually, let's probably do it for my design, my aesthetic, so the common red and white theme that you see for the Gaming Careers brand. So all we need to do is click through here to select the uh, widget that we would like to edit. You instantly get a preview of exactly what you're editing. So you can see we've got this nice uh, webcam frame here. This is gonna be something that surrounds your webcam on stream and it has this sort of little animation that goes round. So look at the options that we're gonna be able to customize here. We can firstly select whether we want it to be 16 by nine widescreen webcam frame or we can go to the four by three. So completely up to you whichever webcam uh, size you use. I use 16 by nine. You can choose whether or not you want the social bar to show. So this is a little bar as you can see at the bottom where you can display some of your social medias and uh, the handles that you use for them. I'm going to keep that on and then we're going to be able to customize the colors. Now for me, uh, my brand is obviously very red and white focused, uh, but this will be completely dependent on what you guys use for your uh, brand, your stream aesthetic, you know, what your avatar colors are, things like that. So let's, I'll do it as an example, I'll do the gaming careers colors. So this is the little sort of orange uh, accent color, I would say it's not the main color, but I'm going to go with uh, white for this, you get given this color picker. You can obviously enter in the hexadecimal value if you know that, uh, but I'm gonna just select white for that. And then my color too, this is gonna be the Gaming Careers Red that I use, which I've got ready to copy and paste. You can already see it's looking pretty decent, but I would say that the the social media uh, handle colors are, um, the blue, I don't think it really fits that well. You've got the color option down here. So I'm gonna just select set this to a slightly darker red. So I'll select my normal red and then, Actually, you know what, I'm going to keep this as, as the same red um, and I'm actually going to come and change this animation color because you can't currently see the animation since it's the same color, it's white. So I'm going to set this one to the slightly darker red. So if I just paste in my normal red and then just go a little bit darker, you can see that the animation as it goes around shows pretty nicely. You can also edit things like the animation wait, wait time and um, if you want to set any sort of offset for the icons. Now, if we come down to the text options, we can actually change exactly what the font color and the font size and which font family it uses. I'm going to leave that at the default because it looks pretty nice to me. But finally, we get the option to change our social media. So maybe you don't want to advertise your Twitter and your YouTube. Maybe you want to advertise uh, your Twitter and your Discord or something like that. You can see that Nerd or Die have included a whole bunch of different icons here. I'm going to select the Discord one and then you can enter in exactly what you want the text to display. Now really, how long did that take me? Probably less than a minute and a half 
to completely change the look of one of their webcam overlays and fits my brand, you know, pretty perfectly actually. This took me literally no time and I've already got something that I can add into my stream. And speaking of adding it into our stream, all that we need to do is click the save icon. You'll be given the option to name your widget exactly as you want. So I'm gonna call this uh, webcam overlay. Click save and it has now given us this new option where we can select a scene to add it to. So if you think about your, your stream layout, I have got this one called live scene. This is the one that I'm gonna be adding it to. So this is like my game scene and I want my webcam overlay in that scene. So all I have to do is click insert into scene and that's it. The widget has successfully been inserted into the scene. Now we can actually click view scene to come across and actually position this exactly where we want to. So we have that newly designed widget we can put it wherever we want, you know, imagine that we have our, our webcam behind it and uh, we scale it to the size that we want and uh, you can see really quickly we've been able to completely customise what this looks like. I think I've probably messed up the crop here uh, just slightly so I'm going to reset the transform and um, just scale this properly and put it down in the bottom corner and imagine my webcam behind it, I haven't got my camera plugged in right now but super quick to get set up with a custom design. So let's go back to the overlay maker and um, let's look at doing a different type of widget. So I'm not gonna go through all of these because I'm sure after just a couple of examples you're gonna understand exactly what you need to do to be able to use this app. Um, but I thought I'd probably just use these background loops and create a quick scene that has, you know, stream starting soon or something like that. So again, you get the option of which uh, of the uh, themes to start your design from. I'm gonna again choose Apex and then I'm just gonna play exactly with the colors. So what I want from this scene is gonna be this background video to be playing on a loop and then some text over the top that says stream starting soon. So pretty simple really. Uh, I'm just gonna start by editing the colors. So uh, again, I have some colors. Oh no, actually I want the red to be the second color. And then let me just get the color that I want from the first. And then color three is gonna be white. So this is gonna be my stream design. Again, I just click save. I can name it exactly as I want. I'm just gonna call it background video. Click save. And then I'm gonna add it into my starting soon scene. So if we go across and view the scene now, the starting soon scene, you can see the background video has been added. And what I want above this is gonna be the uh, stream starting soon text. So if we go back to the overlay maker, uh, click new widget and come across to title. You can see that we've got a few different animated titles. Again, I'm going to be using the Apex one uh, and I'm just going to be changing exactly what this says. So it's going to be, actually I don't need to change it. Stream starting soon is fine. I just need to change the colors. So I'm going to use my main red, I think for the background. I've got the wrong colors on copy and paste. So red for the background. Uh, color two is going to be that kind of charcoal-y color which as you see it slides across and then white as the third color. So I think that looks right. Let's see if we can add that in. That is gonna be stream starting soon. It's gonna be the widget name. I'm gonna add it into the same starting soon scene. If we go across to view that scene, there it is. So you can just you can see it displayed. We can position this exactly as we want, sort of in the middle. And there you go. Really in a matter of moments, I'd probably move it over a, a tiny bit or play around with the colors. But in a matter of moments, I've been able to create a completely customized color-wise and whatever I want it to say, but starting soon scene. I, I think this is just such a game changer in terms of apps. Can't wait to see some of the other apps that get developed. Um, and I really do like this Nerd or Die overlay pack. I can't wait till they add all the other different types of overlays and see what people do with the customizations. Uh, but it'll be nice that people don't have to dive into Photoshop and After Effects uh, to be able to edit things like the colors and the text of these um, overlays. It's just gonna be so simple to do through the Streamlabs OBS app. So if we come back across to the App Store, uh, we're just gonna look at one or two others. I would like to have a look at installing the Monster Cat music player, because I've, I've heard some good things about this one, haven't been able to test it out yet, uh, but it looks as though it's a way of being able to use uh, music, licensed music from Monster Cat on your stream, so you're not gonna get any uh, copyright uh, takedowns or anything like that. You shouldn't get any muted audio in your VODs. And it also has some cool little features um, like being able to respond to chat messages where people want to know the song, as well as displaying the song that is currently playing when it changes in your chat. So really useful, again, like a, a great idea 
from the people at Monster Cat and um, definitely a good integration into Streamlabs OBS. So I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to come up here and subscribe, use another $5 of my free credit for the first month of installation and then it's just going to quickly install into the app. So now that it has installed, you'll see that we have uh, more than one option up here with all the apps that we've installed. So you can click up here or you can click in your profile to select the app. So if we come across to Monster Cat Music Player, you can see that we are given the ability to log in, register or quickly create an account. So um, this subscription that you pay for with Monster Cat, this $5 through the Streamlabs OBS, actually gives you Monster Cat Gold, which is one of their tiers of uh, music so uh, you don't need to pay again for a monster cat account that kind of comes uh, hand in hand so i'm quickly going to register myself uh, for the monster cat uh, account although i don't need to pay anything because i've already just paid um, for the app through streamlabs obs so here you can see the app itself it looks very similar to um, spotify or any other music player really you get uh, a nice big interface that is within streamlabs obs lots and lots of choice in terms of music you can browse you can search you can search playlists and uh, some some already made genres and things like that and you can play these through your stream i'm just going to quickly jump into the settings because i wanted to show you those two cool little features that i wanted you to uh, show so this is the first one where monster cat can actually display in twitch chat when a new song starts playing and it will tell, tell the audience exactly what the song is and who the artist is as well as give them a link to be able to play it themselves um, and it will also allow them to type in exclamation mark song at any point and it will uh, return the same sort of message so all you have to do is click enable to enable that you get the option to enable or disable either of those um, messages depending on how you want to set your stream up but you also get the option to be able to delay the message um, or delay the song change message uh, a certain amount so if you're streaming with a delay because you don't want uh, to be you know ghosted or, or stream sniped or anything like that you can also add in the delay here so that the stream doesn't uh, so that the twitch chat doesn't display the song change before it actually happens because you're streaming with a delay hopefully that made sense you can also come down to the app settings here um, and this is going to allow you to uh, control some of the um, widgets that you can add into your stream so Monster Cat have, I think, really smartly added a current song widget. So a lot of people display what song they are playing on their music, actually on their stream somewhere, as well as having you know the, the Twitch chat uh, function enabled. So uh, if we enable the widget here, we can choose whether to enable album art and we can add some customization for the exact colors and padding and things like that. I'm just gonna leave it all at the default and see exactly what it looks like. So if we go back into the Monster Cat player and just start playing a song, I'll turn it right down so it doesn't actually come out of my speakers but um, let's just play a song once it starts playing then we're gonna go across to uh, our editor uh, and here we have the scene that we were using before now all we want to do is add that widget in we add it exactly the same as you would add any other widget in Streamlabs OBS so you come across to sources click the plus icon and you can see on the right hand side here we have our apps so we want to be adding our current song which is what we named our widget in Monster Cat just click that add the source in add it as a new source you can have some customization here I'm just gonna leave it at default and there you can see we have the current playing song from Monster Cat and that was without any customization so you can imagine if you spent some time customizing the colors here again fitting it into your stream aesthetic a really handy feature from Monster Cat right this video has probably gone on long enough so I'm gonna spend uh, the next few hours just working out what to spend my last five dollar uh, free bonus on uh, I'd love for you guys to go and check out the Streamlabs app store. Obviously, if you don't have Streamlabs uh, OBS yet, I have a link down in the description where you can download and install it. Uh, but let me know down in the comments which of these you've ended up installing using your free bonus on. Uh, have I missed any? Which ones uh, are you going to be using on your stream, really? Uh, I really like these two that I've reviewed in this video. Um, but I can imagine that over time, this whole app store is just going to fill with uh, some really cool and unique things that you can do on your stream for your viewers. So really, really excited as to how this whole app store idea from Streamlabs is gonna turn out. Um, but that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, I will give a thanks to all of my patrons this month. Again, massively helping me uh, run this as a, a full-time YouTube channel and keep providing uh, hopefully useful content for you guys, uh, helping you level up your stream and your content creation. 
Um, so thanks very much to my patrons. If you would like to support the channel, then please do go and check out my Patreon page, which I'll have linked up in the card above. And subscribers, I will see you in the next video. Peace.